Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I think ASU is a great ball club always, and uh, I, know, I just feel like the the real ducks are back, like I was saying over there. What do you sense the league race though? I mean, you're just a game behind this team in first place. I mean, we were, we like being the underdogs. We came into the season thinking that way because of last year's not success. So, uh, I mean, we just keep playing our game and hopefully surprising people. You're not going to surprise anybody anymore. I mean, you're going to you just swept Arizona State. You're a game out of first place. That's gone. Yeah. Isn't it? I mean, that, that's, that's got to be our thought process, though. That's going to continue being our thought process. How are you feeling there in the night? Were you talking to Jimmy Coleman down there as the yeah. base is loaded? He got a little riled up there at the end, kind of kind of got his uh, mind off the game and more focused on the base runners and what had just happened, so he just kind of got to lock him back in. Any worries? No, definitely not. Jimmy's the best in the country. How about Brandon? Um, what was working for him? His changeup today, they have a lot of lefties in the lineup against a right-handed pitcher, and his changeup was filthy. Talking to Brent about what worked yesterday against guys you're working with the pitchers today. Um, well, that's more coach because he's calling the pitches and he knows what what hitters do what with what pitches. So he's he's relaying them to me, but all three of us communicate and see different box adjustments and Pretty where guys are the same wavelength though. I mean, yeah, they, definitely. They, they, you're all in, in rhythm on the calls. You agreed with most yeah, of them. Yeah, definitely. Your double got the two runs and just went to pitch away a little. Yeah, he threw me outside. He tried to come in on me the first pitch and then came. Came with one off the off the plate a little bit, I think, and just kind of drove it that direction. You set the tone offensively pretty much for the entire series, and at least in two of the games. Did you feel like you had to do that personally coming into this weekend? No. I mean, I have faith in our guys. They're, it's not just me on, up there on the offense. So, I mean, Kyle Garlic led us yesterday. We have a lot of a lot of guys on this team that can can carry the offense. You practice in this enough. The weather just not. No, I mean this. That was normal weather for us. <laughs> you don't get this down second. No, do no, not at all. <laughs> um, you know, good teams make adjustments, and you can see they were trying to adjust a little bit on the early off speed, but um, for the most part, they're about the same all three games. You guys, yesterday we were talking about playing to the weather a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean there was a couple of pop-ups that uh, probably stayed in, and got you know got a little shallower than they should have been, but. Uh, you know, just try to work down and get some ground balls. I like to work ground balls more than pop flies, so that, that worked out. Big series been for you, too. We come in 500, you guys, you know, big three weeks ahead, and uh, great start here. Yeah, we got a big three weeks, um, a lot of top-ranked teams, and uh, it all starts with, you know, one game at a time. We took care of the first game of the doubleheader, then took, game of the, took care of the second game, and um, just kind of working from there. So wrapping it all up, this is kind of a statement series. I think. Yeah, I think this is big for us. Um, you know, our bats came through again, and uh, you know, going into two great teams and playing at their places, I think it's a great motivation. You guys worried about playing on the road? I mean, you guys have struggled as of late. You know, I don't think we are. Uh, I think we're we're good on the road. We played you know big time teams on the road, and we've done well against them. And you know, it's another challenge, and I think we're looking forward to it. What was that like taking the ball there uh, with a chance to to get the squeak today? Uh, you know, it's always good when you're going for the sweep. Uh, you know, that doesn't happen very often, especially against a great team like this. And, um, you know, just to go out and throw strikes and compete against a team like this is, you know, a great privilege. Where are your nerves in the ninth inning? I got co confidence for days with Jimmy. Um, you know, anytime he goes out there, I know he's going to get the job done. And uh, he's got great stuff, and, you know, he came through. Yeah, that was special. Um, you know, obviously we didn't think it would be easy today, and, it looked fairly easy, at least from the mound and defensively, and until the prideful Sun Devils just wouldn't go away and put us in a pretty precarious position. And uh, Jimmy, thank goodness, kept you know throwing the ball over the plate, and making him do something, and finally clutched up and made the last pitch. And that's you know that uh, feeling kind of reminds me when you're playing top caliber championship baseball and regional play or super regional or for a championship. In the pack, it's a grinder, and it usually comes down to one pitch and one emotional spot. And luckily for the Ducks, we got it done. And uh, yeah, it's a, another milestone for our program and a nice sweep against a very, very good team. And the amazing thing, probably one of the amazing things, is we got all 27 innings in uh, before Monday and uh, <laughs> grinded through the weather as well. George Jimmy was going to finish. Two of those hits were infield. 
defense, but you looked like you were staying with him. Were yeah, he wasn't as sharp, you know, throw him back to back days. He's just our closer, and he said he felt good. Um, certainly, you want to do or die with your best into the game guy. We had other fresh guys out there and choices, and I conferred with my coaches uh, when it got to that bases loaded spot. Uh, you know, because I'm not the only opinion that matters, but I felt like Jimmy was going to stay in there until at least they tied the game. And uh, there's an old saying, you go down with your best, and Jimmy's our best closer at this point. And I'm sure the kids that were up there warmed up and ready to come in wanted their opportunity. But uh, for me, it was a little bit of a no-brainer. And that might serve Jimmy well down the road, too. But, uh, like I told him, you don't have to be perfect, and they're putting the ball in play. And they didn't crush every single base hit that, that inning. But... Uh, you know, no matter what, whether it's Jimmy's feelings or somebody else's feelings, you want you put, put your team in a position to win, and we thought Jimmy was the best guy for that last out, and he got it done. How did some of the starting pitching week three guys? Yeah, Brando had a, uh, probably uh, the most challenging mound and conditions out of the three guys, and uh, the tempo, I, I didn't do a very good job of getting the pitches to the catcher as quickly as he likes them, and he was uh, mechanically not as sound. He was losing the ball arm side frequently and uh, had to kind of pitch uh, from behind, which is unusual for him. So, but but again, you know, when when you can get that deep in the game and we don't have to go, you know, we got two out of Tommy and and uh, one out of Jimmy. Uh, Brando, uh, reason I took him out after he got that one kid out is his pitch count was up to 106. He wasn't going to finish the game. And kind of a grinding effort from Brando. Not as spectacular as Alex or. Jake, but certainly for Sunday, we'll take that every single time. 26 out of 27 innings, pretty good pitching all the way. I guess a pretty free swing of club. Yeah. That. Yeah, and you know, as much as it's very challenging for us when we go from the Northwest, especially late in the year, to Tempe and the conditions uh, to adjust to that, I'd say the, uh, the challenge for them to go from Tempe to here, especially the way the weather was this weekend, uh, probably gets them a little out of character. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure they'd have ski masks and that kind of thing on <laughs> if they weren't on probation either. Um, you know, they're good players. And again, like I said yesterday, not taking anything away from my team's accomplishment. A um, little harder to deal with inclement weather when you're That's not fighting for something, right? So, uh, anyway, they're going to beat a lot of teams and. You know, at this point, we hope they do really well in the Pac-12. Yeah. Hope they go undefeated. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coach, you talk about Aaron Jones had a heck of a weekend offensively, but also had a pretty good day behind the plate today as well. Yeah, him and Kyle Garlic about or you know every single at bat squaring balls up, and um, uh, they were a big part of our offense. Ryan Healy contributed, and uh, I, you know, I would speak for Coach Waz and Coach Ullman. We didn't execute very well this weekend, you know. Four innings in a row, all we have to do is execute a bun or a slash and run, and and it's not a four to three game, maybe. Um, but uh, we'll take it. You know, they're doing that off of quality pitchers and quality defense, and uh, thank goodness Aaron and, and Kyle Garlic were spectacular. A key play today was uh, Andrew Mendenhall coming off the bench, and that ball that guy hooked down the line in those windy conditions. He made it look pretty easy, but that was a difficult play. I think he had as much to do with us getting through that last inning as anybody.